Six Questions Trans Women Wish You'd Stop Asking. In 2018, Cosmo released an article by Lottie Lamore called Six Things Trans Men Really Wish You'd Stop Asking Them. The questions were as follows. One, aren't you just a lesbian? Two, when are you going to have surgery? Do you have a dick? Three, do you like having sex all the time? Four, will taking testosterone just make you more angry? Five, are you more in touch with your feminine side than cis men? Six, how do you have sex? In the same spirit, Let's flip those questions to the version for women with trans experiences. Here are six questions to stop asking trans women. One, aren't you just a gay man? Two, when are you going to have surgery? Do you have a vagina? Three, do you like having sex all the time? Four, isn't this just a fetish? Five, are you more in touch with your masculine side than cis women? Six, how do you have sex? Let's answer these questions. Number one, aren't you just a gay man? What even is this question? It assumes both the person's gender and their sexual orientation. Big WTF. The truth is that while many trans women are attracted to men, many trans women are attracted to other women. Some are asexual. Some are aromantic. Some are pan. They run the gamut of gender and sexual identity. In short, asking a trans woman if she's just a gay man is beyond silly. Number two, when are you going to have surgery? Do you have a vagina? Trans women vary in the shape, size, and function of their genitals. Their genitals come in all the same diversity as what we find in cisgender and intersex people. As such, it's not helpful to ask if a trans woman has a vagina. She may have a vagina, a penis, or something else that doesn't fit either category. The shape, size, and function of a trans woman's genitals can depend not just on what she started with, but also on what forms of gender-affirming treatment she receives. Not all trans women desire surgery to alter their genitals. Some are just fine having a penis. Others are very happy having what functions more like a large clitoris. Number three, do you like having sex all the time? For many trans women, sex can be a difficult subject. Some trans people think they are sex addicts when really they are self-medicating with orgasms to find relief from the dysphoria centered on their genitals and sex. Others find sex to be so difficult that they identify as asexual until deeper levels of transition can be achieved. Others still have a normal, healthy libido at various stages of their transition. Asking a trans woman whether she likes having sex all the time is rude for the assumptions it makes about the trans woman's sexuality and about sexuality in general. Trans women do not transition solely to fulfill their sexuality and orientation. Number four, will taking estrogen just make you more emotional? For a bonus offering, this question contains both transphobia and misogyny. The assumption is that women are naturally more emotional. Men, women, and non-binary people are just as susceptible to high and intense emotions as anyone else. Indeed, many trans people struggle to regulate their emotions due to the intense gender dysphoria causing them distress and hopelessness. As their transition progresses, trans women may find that their emotional experiences become richer and more complex without causing them to lose control. If you're a trans person or you know one, make sure to check in with yourself about your emotions. As your transition progresses, you may find new emotions bubbling up from your core. 5. Are you more in touch with your masculine side than cis women? Some trans women feel that because they were incorrectly assigned male at birth, they have unique insight into masculinity. While this may be true for some, the other side is that whatever privilege a trans woman might have had is sacrificed when she comes out as trans. This is in part due to our society's inclination to punish anyone who sullies masculinity with femininity. Others feel, however, that they never had male privilege. Just like a woman who grows up infertile or an intersex woman who grew up with male-shaped genitals, trans women are likely unable to relate exactly to what it's like to be a man. 6. How do you have sex? Sex is as varied as the people who have it. When taking E, the phallus can get softer even when at full erection. But it can increase in sensitivity and the kind of pleasure felt from stimulation. For some trans women, especially those who are more comfortable being atop, these changes can be uncomfortable or undesirable. Other trans women get, quote-unquote, the surgery. In a vulvoplasty, the trans woman relinquishes her penis instead for the outward appearance of a vagina, but without any vaginal canal. Other trans women get a vaginoplasty, in which a vaginal canal is made, and the trans woman can now be penetrated.